Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be doing a review on the 4WDH Diesel Sentinel Shunter number 19. So a little bit different from J94s and other austerities. Uh, this one I bought on Friday. So two days ago but only just got round to doing the review i have i have had it out the box and run it round um but i put it back in the box to do the review so we'll start with the packaging standard hobby packaging <coughs> well the railroad style anyway so it is dcc ready Number R, uh, number Romeo 3576, and it is a four whiskey Delta Hotel diesel sh uh, diesel Sentinel shunter, number 19, and then you just got the DCC ready barcode and some other uh, company bits on the back. You just got all the um, different languages on um, detailed scale model not suitable for children under 14 <laughs> so as you can see there she is in the packaging and she's probably one of the nicer sentinels I've seen um, tried to get one of these for a while but they just didn't do any colors that I liked they were just too bright and in your face um, I would have preferred the one with the gears on it and the rod at the bottom but um, they didn't do it in this specific colour and the colours they do do it in are like bright red or blue what I wasn't really that um, wasn't really that keen on so let's get it out of the box as you can see we get, that, we get a little bag of bits I'm guessing they're just what we, I call blanking plates um, so if you don't want couplings on your locomotive they'll fit into the the NEM socket and cover up on the buffer beam what's quite nice to have let's get that out of the way let's get out of the box If they uh, get one of these in the, uh, or a nice livery one with cogs, I might have to get another one. So, might have to look out for a further video on another one. Okay, let's get that in the box. Okay, let's place it on the box. Let's go down, let's get the right and right to focus. So, here we go. So we're going to start this side, work our way around like we normally do. Um, then I'm going to start from this side down to that side and then all the way around. So, beautiful model. you got amazing, uh, some very delicate um, separately fit handrails here. What a pretty precarious by uh, Hornby. But separately fit handrails going all the way around. Got this lovely side panel. With uh, the number 19 kind of army style. You got a little sign up here saying um, powered by Rolls Royce. What I didn't actually know. Um, you got this beautiful wash striped application of footsteps. You got the kind of rough sentinel sign, what I quite like. You got flush glazed windows. You got the little exhauster there with the lining. Uh, there isn't any cab detail, what's a shame, it is just blue inside, but I might have to paint that. Um, coming around the front, we have this lovely grille with the Rolls Royce. You've got some beautiful uh, separately fit handrails all the way around. You've got the footsteps, not um, sprung buffers, you've got the NEM coupling and the wash stripes. Going around the other side exactly the same, you got the wash stripes, simply fit handrails, um, the 
Rolls Royce Psy 19 in the Sentinel. You got some beautiful applicated footsteps at the bottoms. Coming around to the other side, you can see you got some lovely walkways here. Um, footsteps, you got the grill. Then coming to the top of the model, you got some uh, kind of lining down or engraved work down the top here. Different sections of the uh, engine. Then you got the exhaust there with the beautiful gold stripe around it. Then you got its two little, I'm not too sure what they would be, I'm guessing they're like air filters. Then you got a little, I'm guessing, a little kind of valve or whistle. You do have some uh, window wipers on this as well. Well, it's quite nice. That's really nice. So we'll get it on the track and see it running. Okay, so here we go, it's on the test track, um, I just need to put some power to the layout, there we go, there she goes, she is very very smooth indeed, beautiful runner. Quite quiet as well. Oh, she's got stuck there on a dirty bit of track. And she can go rather slow as well. There you have it, the Hornby Four Whiskey Delta Hotel Diesel Sentinel Shunter number 19 by Hornby. Uh, if you like this video, please go and smash the like button and go and hit the thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you got any questions about the model like always uh, if you've got a question about the model just drop me a comment and I'll answer it to the best of my abilities I uh, hope you enjoy this video and thank you